them know that every single day they don't have to walk in fear no more. It's time to heal and um, remember the victims. You're not alone. We're with you. We're in this together. Buffalo Strong. We say hi. Employees and customers are once again returning to a staple of the East Buffalo community. The Tops on Jefferson Avenue is now back open two months after 10 people were murdered, three others hurt in a racist fueled attack. The reopening is a sign of healing as the neighborhood looks to a new beginning. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Mary Alice Demler and I'm Michael Wooten. Scott is off tonight. We are hearing mixed reaction from the community as that store reopens. Now, some say it's too soon, while others say this is part of rebuilding. Channel 2's Dave McKinley is outside the store after talking to some customers. Dave. Mary Alice, questions as to whether or not people would actually return here to shop were answered rather quickly on this first day of the reopening. By midday, the parking lot was pretty much full. In fact, folks were even parking on side streets in order to get into the store, which we showed you during a tour given by Tops. Yesterday was completely redone, including a new layout with enhanced security measures both outside and in. We talked to several customers leaving the store after they shopped about what they thought. I love the, I love this store. I'm going to be a greeter. Everything is new. Everything is, you know, the fresh. I, I think the, the tweaks that you did is very nice. It brought it, brought it up. <laughs> it's a big difference. Yeah. Yes, it is. A big difference. Everything looks more brighter, more bigger, more wider, fresher. Yeah. Any hesitancy about going in? Not at all. Not at all. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. No. You can't, you can't be scared. You got to live every day. I try not to think on those things, you know, because when you think on it, it brings you down. So what you do, you thank God for things as well as they are. And that's what I do. And before any of the customers arrived, the day began with returning employees gathering for a blessing of the store before going inside and back to work. One of the things that did surprise us today as we spent the afternoon out here was the number of people who were going up and down Jefferson Avenue, stopping their cars, taking a look and asking others standing around, is the store open? Despite the amount of media coverage in the last few days that today would be the day. Reporting live near Tops on Jefferson, Dave Bikinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thank you. While many people are celebrating the store reopening, others say it's too soon. A small group gathered along the Jefferson Avenue store today. They say that not enough time has passed since that mass shooting. The group also says that there should have been more community discussion about what to do with the site, including the option of a memorial. We just had, had a tragedy where 10 bl black people were murdered. Uh, I mean, literally blood was shed in there, so we we just feel, feel as though it's too soon and we want to at least talk about it first. And a lot of pe people from the community feel the same way. This group says it would have liked to have seen a black owned business open up in that space as well. Well, from opposition to support and future plans for a possible memorial, you can find all of those stories covering the Tops tragedy and the store reopening on our website, WGRZ.com.